In this video, I just want to very quickly show you what we're going to create. I had a question on how to create curved roof forms. So the first step that we're going to do is I just want to show you it is possible to take a building form, whether the building form is curved or rectangular, and actually go ahead and create yourself a curved roof form. So let's get started with it here. So I'm in a blank architectural template project just to start. I'm going to use my architectural wall. I'm going to lay out some curved curve walls here. And we're just going to do two quick building types. So you can see the sketch tools that I'm even using to generate the form of the building. And I'm just going to do something more like a P shape. This is pretty, a pretty simple form. And then I'm also going to give us one more form that we're going to put a roof on both of these types. Cause I just want to demonstrate for you how you can use the roof tool to create two types of form one that follows just the walls or you can still create your curved roof footprint even if you have a square or rectangular shaped building so come up here to the roof tool we're still in the architectural tab roof by footprint we're going to continue to use that here and that's okay we can use our level two to put the roof on so the first one we're going to use let's go ahead and use this here I do want to point out we're not going to use the slope tool, so we're going to undefine the slope. We're going to have a, a flat curved roof for this first type. And you'll see here, Revit is just giving me a sketch that imitates that. And if I click OK here, and I'm just going to open up a 3D view so we can take a look at this in 3D. Now you'll go ahead and see we didn't actually assign an overhang or anything to this initial form so you'll see how this is pretty much a curved roof right on top of that building for this second one and I do want to let's go back and look at the overhang because I think that that would make the roof a little bit more dramatic and something you would probably want to accomplish from a design standpoint so level two where we have the roof and then let's go ahead and do this one more time we're going to select the roof and I'm going to hit my edit footprint and I'm actually going to just select all of those sketch lines and hit delete my delete key and now we're going to go ahead and lay this out one more time so I'm going to select the boundary line so that we can start defining that we're going to come back over here to our pick walls tool and that overhang was two feet and now you see Revit if I zoom in a little bit it's giving me my dash lines two foot outside of that perimeter boundary wall that we have and we'll click OK again now if we go back to that 3D view that we created take another look you'll see that we can see here in a floor plan view and we're actually going to give ourselves a very quick camera view just to be able to look between these buildings but since, since I know we're going to come back and put a roof on our rectangular form as well so now you can see if I zoom in you can kind of see the overhang on that first form now let's go back and let's put a curved roof even on this rectangular building so we're gonna go back to that level two and let's do our roof by footprint once again now this time since we don't have a curved building form you see if I continue to use this pick walls sketch tool I can't get a curved footprint so we're gonna to have to actually sketch this so we're going to just use our start in radius arc and I can come outside of this form a little bit and I can give my curve the roof in this direction you have lots of options here so I'm going to give ourselves a pretty interesting roof form on this building maybe there's an outdoor space that we're trying to create here and there you go so this is the form we're gonna have realizing we may need to have some columns under this to help support the significant overhang we'll have on this side but 
this gives us what we want. So if I just click OK here and go back to that 3D view we had. So there's the 3D view and this is looking at that in Axon. So remember we can continue to use our view steering cube to kind of spin around it. Remember you can use this to pivot in any direction you want to pivot in. But that's just how you go about moving this thing around in your 3D view and that's how you go about creating a, a curved roof. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope that you've gotten a better understanding of how to create these curved roof forms here in Revit. I hope this Revit roof tutorial has been helpful for you.